Ayan, good morning everyone. Pasensya na kanina. We had to restart the live because we had technical issues. And that's the challenging thing about um, going live. Alright, so please give me one minute while I remove the previous post that I did. Alright, tanggalin ko muna yon. Because I'll be reposting it again to everyone. And then while waiting for uh, the audiences, um, I'll just do this. Just, just give me one minute. Alright, for those who are watching the video, um, the replay of the video, this video is, ano, uh, this video is recorded live. So please, uh, pardon if there will be any delays uh, with this. Really quick. Ayan, so let's start. So today is going to be a very special episode with the market starting to go up and the international market starting to go up. Um, it's a good time to start investing again. So I want to discuss about this. Uh, the topic for today is uh, titled How the Poor Stay Poor, Now the Rich Stay Rich. It's about mastering your cash flow. And I'm going to discuss to you um, how to master your cash flow. Uh, this is uh, for those who already know about this who have attended my previous seminars uh, Please bear with us with the episode for today, but we really want to help Filipinos how to improve their lives So we need to aware make them aware with this this uh, the topic is inspired by the teachings of Mr. Robert Kiyosaki from the rich lad poor dad Ito po yung tinuturo nila on how to master cash flow. This is what I applied in uh, in my life right now and so we're uh, we're heading towards financial freedom already and we want to share this knowledge to everyone as much as possible all right so let's start i'm just gonna go to the comments later on all right this is a what they call this this is a side topic which is very very important i really want to share this out to everyone all right so how the rich stay rich and how the poor stay poor okay um, there are people kasi na pag, kahit na malaki ang sweldo, right? Kahit malaki ang sweldo, mahirap pa rin. Why is that? Kahit na maganda na ang trabaho, may call nasa call center na. I'm really sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, call centers uh, as a common issue. I mean common topic because I was a call center agent and this attitude is very prevalent and that's why people are stuck in their jobs. Right? Di po porket malaki sweldo natin, we are already rich because we can afford. No, it's not like that. Okay? So, uh, what I'm really teaching is about financial freedom. How to get out of your job. You don't want to be working until you are 60 and 70. Diba? As much as possible, we want to retire early and that's what we're going to be teaching you. You can retire early because you are really rich and you're financially free. Diba? Um, so, first up, let me just... Um, open this because this is a new setup so really sorry if you cannot see my face i want to share this this is very important if you can't manage 1000 pesos one thousand dollars then you can't manage uh, ten thousand dollars right uh, if you don't uh, you don't suddenly learn how to handle money by amassing more of it this is why a lot of lottery winners lose it all financial literacy is not a side effect of wealth Wealth is a side effect of financial literacy. All right, so this is a very important. Um, we are gonna be rooting our discussion for, from that thought. Okay, ang ibig po sabihin nun is kahit po may malaking pera kayo, hindi po ibig sabihin na um, magiging dun ka pa mag-aaral ng paano maging financially literate. Right, amassing a big wealth is not um it's not a guarantee that you will stay rich kaya po ang daming mga anak ng mga mayayaman nang nahihirap ngayon because they do not know how to handle the funds right financial uh, wealth is a result of financial literacy marami po akong kaibigan na galing po sa mahirap and slowly became rich and financially free right why is that diba? so going back to the slide right so here we want to talk about cash flow, okay? We want to talk. We know we want to talk talk about cash flow. This is how a basic cash flow looks like. So let me share this to you the parts of the cash flow because this is very important. Um, let me. Sorry. So let me go back to this. 
One moment, please. Let me just pair up my um, my pen. All right. So let me share this back. Right, so I want to make sure that this is playing with the pen. All right, so here are the parts of the cash flow. All right, number one is the income, very important. Income, then expenses. There are only four parts, right? Then the assets, and then the liabilities. Okay, so um, income is basically your um, earnings. Let's say for every month, right? Let's just use every month since we are we are targeting audiences that are considering earnings every month, diba? So, number one is your income. Ito yung cash flow mo na pumapasok sa wallet mo um, from your, in your ATM sa sweldo mo or if you have a business, um, how much monthly income do you get? So, it all falls down to income. And then expenses, right? Expenses is this is the money coming out from your income, right? So, example, may sweldo ka ng 20,000 a month and then expenses are, ano, um, are, uh, Placed here, right here. Ito yung mga bills mo sa cell phone bills, electricity bills, and your... Ang dami, lahat ng expenses. Even if yung kukakain ka kay Jollibee sa labas, uh, expenses will be placed there. Let me just um, add this really quick. One moment, please. Um, video capture device and source. Right, one moment. All right, so just place my face for para hindi awkward na wala walang mukha ko. All right, so thank you for that. Sorry about that. So next is assets and liabilities. Before I go to this, I wanna I I wanna. I want to focus on this really quick. So let me just click on done. Let me go back to. And we want to differentiate what assets and liabilities are because the rich. This is the biggest difference between the rich and the poor, right? The rich buys assets and the poor buys liabilities. I want to focus on that. I want to repeat that because this is very important. Dito mali, marami ang mga Pinoy. The rich buys assets and the poor buys liabilities. Kasi hindi kilala ng mga um, ng mga poor. Uh, they cannot differentiate assets and liabilities that much. Okay? So, going back, uh, we want to we wanna give you the right definition of assets and liabilities. Assets. Assets simply puts money into your pocket. Diba? Assets puts money into your pocket. It's anything that puts money in your pocket. It could be a pen. A pen can be an asset if it puts money in your pocket. Diba? What if yung pen mo, ginagamit mo, like me, um, this is an Apple pen. Uh, medyo may kamahalan siya. But it's putting money in my pockets, back pockets because I use it in my seminars and, and during the seminars um, that's our business and, and money comes in because of that so it's very important right so anything it can be anything it pwedeng bato yan <laughs> pwede pang bato yan um, it can be an asset what if you're selling the rocks ginawa mong gravel and then binenta mo it is now an asset because it's putting money into your pocket right next is a liability um, what is a liability? Liability is anything that takes out money from your pocket, right? Anything that takes out money from your pocket. For example, um, dami eh, and dami eh. For example, kumain ka kay Jollibee, lumabas sa, lumabas sa bulsa mo yun, di ba? So what if, magiging asset yan, but what if kumain ka ng Jollibee pero kasi may kamiting ka, right? For example, Starbucks, bumili ka ng Starbucks, um, magiging liability ang binili mong kape if ever for self consumption lang pero kung may ka meeting ka naman um, now that Starbucks uh, at linibre mo yung client mo and may na close ka na deal for example an insurance deal or a real estate deal then that Starbucks becomes an asset diba? because it puts money into your pocket so how, that's how we differentiate it it's anything that takes out money from your pocket so this is where most Filipinos make a mistake dito maraming mali 
right? I always ask this question in my seminars. If you buy a house, is that an asset or a liability? Diba? So you can answer now. I want, I want you to answer. Is a house an asset or a liability? Please post it on the comments. I'll give you uh, 20 seconds to answer it. Is it an asset or liability? All right. So while waiting, let me just uh, re read ev everyone. Air Plata, good morning. Ian Christian Tadles, good morning. Chris Canilan, good morning. Good morning, Erickson. Um, pa shout out sa maganda ko asawa si Michelle. PPG, we'll talk about that later. Just comment it again. Code name Acero, good morning. Vidgore, um, Armonde, uh, Rodriguez, Brand Solier, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pakisili po Intel and AMD. Let's check that out later if we have time. Air Plata, Coach, pasili pa later muna. All right. Because we, today is going to be a special topic all right jerick joel and mariko good morning um with armonde rodriguez good morning po sa inyo dyan Rimanil aguinaldo all right so i'm gonna go to the ano i'm gonna go to the comments um ayun many are answering liabilities liabilities liability ba ang bahay <laughs> mali right a house is not the answer is it's the it's depend tuloy. It depends. Yun yung joke ko lagi dati. Eh. It's depend dot. Right? <laughs> the answer is it's de it depends. Right? It depends. Right? Um, someone answered Kaloy 62. Depende po. Alvin Galvez. Depende po. Right? So you do not answer right away. The answer is it depends. Very good for the, uh, good uh, for, very good for those who answer it. De answered it depends. Adams answered assets. That's the wrong answer. The, the perfect answer is it depends. Diba? Iba-iba kasi sa tayo ng perspective. But the best answer is it depends. Why? Ganito kasi yan. If you have a house and pinaparentahan mo, then that house is putting money into your pocket. Diba? We can consider it as an asset. But if you're using it for, uh, for self-consumption, um, bahay mo naman yan, nagde-degrade, tapos may, may gastos pa sa kurente, um, yaya, caretaker, and everything, then that house is taking out money from your pockets, then it becomes liability. Here's the biggest uh, problem because Filipinos, um, karamihan ng mga OFWs ganito. Hindi ko naman sinasabi lahat. Um, karamihan kasi ng OFWs pag umikita na ng malaki. Uso unang bilhin is bahay ka agad. Kasi, this is the mentality of the Filipinos. Gusto kong may makita kaagad sa pinaghirapan ko. Gusto kong may makita sa pinaghirapan ko. At bibili ng bahay kaagad. Right? Thinking that a house is an asset, but in reality, that house that they bought for self-consumption para at least maganda yung bahay nila, they're buying a liability. Okay? Inuuna kasi natin ang liabilities. That's the biggest problem. Now, how does this affect our cash flow? Bakit ito nagpapahirap sa atin, this mindset right here? Which is, um, which is what we are gonna be talking about. So, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna read some answers. Melanie J, if renting someone, it's an asset. Very good answer. Jerry Tahonera, liability, ang house purchased. Very good. Uh, depende po yan kung sarili nyo gamit. House, from Anilin, house is an asset if it generates an additional income. If you're, if you use it for renting, very good answer, right? So let me good. Uh, let me go back to uh, our cash flow, right? So we're we're gonna go back to cash flow and why knowing what asset and liability is very important in becoming rich. Okay, so here, income. Let's start with income. Sorry. Let me just play that again. So let's start with income. This is how your cash flow looks like. I want you to take a screenshot of it. If wala pa kayo nito, um, I'm gonna give you five seconds. Take, please take a screenshot of it. Cause at the end of the day, maybe tonight or tomorrow or next uh, this weekend, I want you to start making your own cash flow. Okay, this right here, what you're seeing on the screen, di ba kung college tayo, um, how we are doing in school is reflected on our report card. Ngayon, in real life outside college, in, no, in an independent life where we are working, how you are doing financially can be seen in your cash flow. Negative ba ang cash flow mo or break even ba ang cash flow mo? That means you are um, you are gonna be, you are not doing well in your, when you, in your ano, yet in your finances. And if you are getting a, a positive cash flow, that means you're doing well financially and you're on a good direction. Okay? So this is very important. This is your report card. It's important that you have this. Kung may plano kayo with your finances, you have to have your cash flow. So this is how it works. For example, my income ako, nag, oh, sorry. My income ako, sorry. So my income ako na, let's say, um, ayaw na naman gumana ng pen ko. 
right sorry hindi ko sina charge ang pen ko okay really quick all right so let me just read um um a few comments house is an asset if it generates an other income if you use it for renting asset po kasi nag appreciate it depends mas minsan mas malaki pa yung gastos natin kaysa sa appreciation this is from jetty di ba uh, very good answer from jetty um asset po kasi nag appreciate this is pardon me but this is what usually uh the the what do you call this uh your sales um your sales uh tawag dyan? yung mga brokers niyo sinasabi it's, it's always an asset it's because they're after the sales i am your financial advisor um sadly if you compute it even if it appreciates magkano lang po ba ang appreciation ng isang let me go full screen magkano lang po ba ang appreciation ng properties on average every year di ba so basically it appreciates um, by studies, meron po appreciation is around 4 to 6% annual increase of the price, yung appreciation niya. Unless na may magandang development sa area na yan. Okay? Um, but, yun, you have to compute magkano ba yung gastos mo, mas malaki pa ba yung gastos mo kaysa sa appreciation. If mas, if negative ka naman, mas, mas, mas malaki yung appreciation, I mean, mas malaki yung gastos mo every month, then that means that is a, that is a liability. Okay, so now let's go to this. All right, so income. For example, you have cash. Uh, you have income every year of, I mean, every month of twenty thousand pesos. You have to put it there. Kahit anong income mo, if meron ka namang meron ka, let's say, pag ibig into MP2 program, idagdag mo dyan. Siguro monthly, may kinik, baka may kinikita ka na one thousand sa um. Uh, MP2 program, you add it up and let's say, for example, you have 21,000 monthly income, you have to put it there. Lahat po ng income ninyo. And in your expenses, dito po, ilalagay nyo rin po lahat. Please do this diligently. Lagay nyo po expenses nyo, like for example, transpo, transportation, um, load, cell phone load, uh, food, every month, etc. Right? Lagay nyo po Diyan. And you total it out and let's say mag-total ito ng uh, let's say 15,000 expenses mo kasi school, um, school ng mga bata mo. Right? So meaning, yung difference po nitong dalawa, for example, 21,000 and 16,000, meron ka pong 5,000 difference na titira and that becomes your savings. Diba? So you have to write, write, write down, magkan, write down magkano savings mo. Okay, let's not, let's not just go to... Um, Spend your savings, etc. Right now, this is the important part. Now we have already computed this diligently, and yung five thousand money savings and genyan every month you add it up. Right, you add up the ano, you add up the you add up the uh, savings small, and then what you buy with it is what makes the difference between the rich and the poor. Okay, kasi iba nagsi save. Ah, uh, yun binibili ng bahay. You don't know if you, the, you don't not knowing that the house they're buying is a liability. Okay, so here, um, unahin natin yung may hirap. Bakit sa mga hirap, um, may uh, this is very important. Let me just uh place this properly. Okay, so what if liabilities ang bilhin mo? Let's say, for example, bumili ka ng kotse, car, right? Kasi meron ka ng savings na five thousand, kaya mo na ang monthly na car. Uh, expenses, so lalagay mo dyan. Not knowing that the car has expenses. Additional yan ng gas, right? So, meron kang gas, gas expenses, uh, maintenance, maintenance, etc. Let's say this totals up to, let's say, 4,000 a month, yung expenses mo. Okay, so car pa lang yan. And then, bumili, uy, may magandang sweldo na ako. Um, um, may savings naman ako, pwede akong bumili ng Pwede na ako mag-upgrade from cellphone load. Gagawin ko ng ano, um, line. Uh, prepaid, I mean postpaid, postpaid line. Right? Now you compute. Right? Magkano ba negative mo? Let's say negative 1,000 ka lang. Now, here's the difference. Right? Oh, sorry. Let's go back. Right? So, then, ito yun. House. For example, a house. Is the house putting money in your pocket or not? Right? Kahit na 
uh, you compute now the appreciation plus yung gastos mo naman, if it goes on the negative, then yeah, it, it falls onto uh, liabilities. Let's say sa house mo kasi may gastos ka, kuryente, maintenance, um, caretaker, uh, etc. Bills pa sa internet, sa linya, right? sa, sa bahay, sa phone. Let's say magne-negative 1,000, oh, let's say negative expenses mo lang. Kahit lagay natin sa 2,000 lang expenses mo every month, right? With appreciation, negative. So, 2,000 lang. So, here's the difference now. 4,000, 1,000, and 2,000. Um, this will add up to your expenses. Kung liabilities kasi ang binibili natin. It adds up to your expenses. Now, if this adds up to your expenses, negative 4,000, or 1,000, and 6,000, uh, 2,000, that becomes 7,000. So, it adds up to your expenses here of 7,000. And now you are negative. Since may, dati may savings ka na 5,000, ngayon nagne-negative 2,000 ka na. So wala ka ng savings, may utang ka pa. And this is why the poor keep borrowing money. Right? Nababaon sa utang kasi keep buying um, liabilities and padagdag ng padagdag sa expenses yan. Gusto kong bumili ng TV. Ayan, may maganda ako TV. Anong gagawin ko? Eh di mag-subscribe ako sa Netflix. TV, additional yan sa kuryente. Netflix kay cable, um, yung cable pa, and that's a liability. Okay? So, it adds up. And this is the reason why kung uh, um, liabilities ang binibili ninyo lagi, right? It uh, it is heavy on your expenses and nagne-negative po kayo. And this is the reason why yung feeling ninyo, lagi kayo hinahabol ng expenses, lagi kayong baon sa utang. This is the reason why. Okay? Now, what if you are rich-minded. Mayroon ako savings ngayon na 5,000. Hindi ko muna ibibili ng bahay. Um, okay pa naman yung bahay namin. Um, uh, Tiisin ko lang muna. What if kailangan ko bumili ng bahay kasi gusto ko parentahan? Now, if you buy a house instead, right, with that uh, with the savings that you have, it will add up for here. Um, for example, isang property number one, property one, gives me, since nagbabayad ako ng monthly kasi ano lang naman, um, mo, naka-mortage, pero pinarentahan ko naman, nag-start ng magrenta, it adds up, let's say, I am saving 2,000 pesos, I'm able to earn 2,000 pesos clean. So, sa mortgage minus sa um, uh, maintenance, and then um, plus the rental. So, magkano yung difference? Let's say, nakakuha ako ng 2,000. There, this. Right. So, next is, Let's say, um, kuha ako ng pag-ibig, MP2 program, and bili ako ng MP2 program, it gives it's, it generates me um, 12,000 a year. So, if you divide that into 12, it, uh, MP2 program, MP2 program, that's plus 1,000 a month. Okay? Now, here's the difference. Because you keep adding up on assets, buy more assets, buy more assets, buy more assets, it this will add up to your income. For example, tatlo lang, tatlo, ato lang dalawa muna. Um, gawin natin na assets. Or meron pa kayo mangingisda. Mangingisda.org Yan. Uh, it generates you another 1,000 pesos every month. Right? So, this is one, 2, 3, 4K. 4K total. What you do, what the rich does is your assets add up to your income. Right, pag nag-add up kasi sa income yan, let's say you are you are rich and then we remove this kasi hindi mo naman hindi naman liabilities ang binili mo and instead assets ang binili mo. So this adds up from your for your 21k this now is 25 oh hindi, hindi yan 4k oh yeah, 25,000 a month. Now your savings because 25k na siya minus 16k meron tayong plus 4 dito. Now you are able to save 9,000 a month. 9,000 a month, since you're still working, may income pa rin kayo, and then now you have this small assets, kahit pa maliliit na assets yan, kahit napakaliit lang ng add yan sa monthly nyo, it adds up. So now you have 9,000. So now you have 9,000 pesos every month. You can now buy another asset that where you can pay pa din mo amortization or start a business or anything that will add up to your um to your income then magpa plus 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 yan everything adds up every asset you buy kahit ganong kaliit yan kahit mp2 program lang yan it adds up and this is the reason why the rich stay rich because they're heavy on the assets pwede pong insurance kasi insurance is an asset it generates income every year 
Okay? And then just it, you just divide it to 12. Now, again, focus on buying assets. Pag may 13th month kayo, ano ba bibili ninyo? Is it gonna be an asset or is it gonna be a liability? Now, people will say, ang cellphone, Sir Lloyd, uh, one time lang naman yan, hindi naman magpamantly expenses sa akin yan. Very good. The problem is, y- y- nag- nag- nagkakaroon ng negative sa cellphone is when you buy it, the moment you buy it, the the price degrades. Yung degradation na yan, di ba? Sabi niyo kanina, if the house is um, appreciating, so it becomes an asset. If if the item you bought is depreciating, for example, sa sakyan or cell phone, it depreciates in price and that is a big subtraction to your to your cash flow and that is a liability also. Yung TV na yan, brand new. Pag the moment you open it, uh, it depreciates in price. So that's a liability also. Okay, this is the importance of cash flow. Put this into heart. But this is just a summarization. You know, ikita niyo ngayon sa screen niyo. It's just a summary of uh, of a, how a cash flow looks like. Importante po dito. You have to be very diligent in your expenses. Key here is to lower your expenses as much as possible. Um, para may savings po kayo kasi yung savings ninyo ang gagamitin ninyo to buy assets and keep buying assets gano, kahit gano'ng kaliit yan again, with a quote earlier that I shared to you um, doesn't matter if you have $10,000 or $1,000 if you don't know how to man- manage it you won't be able to become, you won't be able to attain financial freedom so this is financial li- literacy for you okay the rich buys asset the poor buys liabilities so i hope this is clear we will i will be having a further discussion about this this is what i teach mas mahaba po yung discussion ko about this during my financial literacy seminars uh, but i hope you learned a lot with this with the idea of this today okay so let's go to our topic um tapos na ito let me go to Go full screen and read your comments. Ayon. Okay? Uh, asset put money in your pockets while liability take, takes out money from your pockets. Yes, tama po yan. Bernard Brian Blanco. Sir Lloyd, liability po bang paggastos po punta overseas for study or work? Right, very good question. That's an investment. It's just that hindi mo pa nakikita. It's taking risk. Investment pa lang yan. Um, possible kasi may big reward, right? just right now the current position of that is it's still risky kasi hindi pa natin nakikita reward but we consider that as an uh, if it's sure naman kung mag-study or work kayo for abroad then that's an investment kasi malaki naman ang returns niyan in the future okay um i'm going to go back to the comments of everyone and see what we are what people are thinking if you have any questions about the discussion please post it on the comments gear trader um, said, pag loan mo, pag ibig sir, asset yan, pero pang pagbili mo ng cash, liabilities yan, mas maganda mag rent lang muna and extra invest mo for passive income. Very good. It's okay to loan, right? Very good. Very good. Ano? Very good answer. Um, very good comment. It's okay to loan, pero depende po saan po ginag, uh, saan nyo po linalagay ang loan. Okay? Is it for for passive income or for a business, then that's a good loan. Pero pag nag-loan kayo, dahil lang sa luho, marami pong gumagawa nito, nag-loan kasi pang, kasi pang bili ng cellphone, right? That's the problem right there. There, there That becomes a liability. That you're, you're buying liability. So may utang ka pa nga and then plus nag-degrade pa at nag pa sa expenses mo ang cellphone. Doble. <laughs> ano yan? Uh, lagari yan sa sarili. Right? So, you are um, you are putting yourselves in a very bad predicament financially. So, please be careful with that. Okay lang mag-loan. For example, mag-loan ka. Sa loan ngayon, mapakamura ng, uh, ng interest. Okay? Right now, um, alam ko, ang loan is around 4.5% to 6% annually. What if, uy, 4.5% to 6% annually ang loan? Um, Pero meron ako opportunity here. For example, si Mangingisda.org is gi- gave out 20% for this month, uh, for this year. So meaning, na offset ng gains mo yung ano ng loan mo. So that's, cost, that's called leveraging. Marami pong gumawa nito sa Mangingisda.org. Nag-utang ng pera, since maliit lang naman ang interest, 
at malaki naman makukuha nila sa pinaglagyan nila. So, that's good business, right? That's good loan. Okay? Sir, tanong ko pang long-term ang stocks sa eToro. Yes, definitely. I am recommend. Pwede rin naman short-term. Marami tayong day traders there. For example, um, etong si, uh, what do you call this? Si, uh, si, yung winner natin, isang speaker natin sa seminar, RB Necesito, she is doing eToro for short term, right? Day trading po ang ginagawa niya. So, in just one month, nagkita siya ng 105%. Take, take profits na yan. So, it's very short term. So, depende po yan sa, sa style ng pag, ano, sa, sa style ng pag, uh, what you call this, um, ng pag-trade mo. Buying old newspaper, liability ba at reselling it asset na tama ba? Yes, it becomes an asset. If you're buying it and then reselling it for a profit, then that means that you are buying assets. Right? Sabi ko sa inyo, kahit bato pa yung bilhin ninyo, ginawa niyo namang gravel at ibibenta ninyo na mas mahal, then that's an asset. It's anything. Right? Kahit ano po yan, kahit pa buhangin, kung binibenta niyo for profit, that buhangin becomes an asset. Okay? Sir, liability are very good. Si stocks, long term, or depende po yan sa ano ninyo, um, from gear trader, depende po yan sa purpose niyo on how to trade. Paul, Mark Celeste, how about mag-loan sa bank tapos pambayad ng utang? Nako, doble po yan. Um, pinambayad nyo sa utang ninyo, pero umutang din naman kayo. Now that's bad, right? If you are umuutang kayo para ipambayad sa utang, it's a, it's a sick cycle, Right? Mas mabuti pa nga doon sa inutangan ninyo noon kung wala namang collateral yon Kasi sa banko, ang collateral nyo, <laughs> baka lupa, ba- bahay ninyo mawawala. So, that's not good. Right? Kung meron naman kayong utang, talk to the, talk, talk to the ano, kahit credit card po, pwede nyo pong pakiusapan yan na babayaran ko po yan, eto po yung terms na okay lang sa akin, pero wag nyo na pong patubuin. Pwede pong ganyan. Wag po kayong maglo-loan para pambayad dyan kasi tubo lang tubo yan, mababaon lang kayo sa utang. Uh, Lou, thank you for this, Sir Lloyd. God bless you. Welcome. Ayaw lang tong, ayaw lang tong bawal na bato. <laughs> Wag lang yung bawal na bato. Yes, totoo po yan, right? Um, okay, so, yeah, um, going back to the comments, um, Erickson, nabasa natin. Air Plata, Coach Pasilip, um, kanina, yan, basahin natin, may request kanina si Erickson, si PPG sa kanya. We'll go now to our Topic for today, PSEI. So, stock market. We'll go to the stock market. PSEI, kaya hapon pula si stock market. Uh, we closed at 7840. But that's okay. After a very strong climb, um, very strong climb of the market, it's bound to do a pullback. Kahit na may magandang news, nang pullback siya. Pero it's still, at, still a healthy pullback for PSEI. So, nothing to worry about. Um, the trade doors are easing out, so we're we're seeing we're gonna be we're expecting the market to ease out, uh, moving forward. Okay, um, kanina may question si ano si Erickson for PPG. So please share the video if you think this is uh, the topic or kung may natutunan po sa topic niyo and do you think your friends are gonna be benefiting from the live discussion that we had just now? Please share this video to your Facebook. Walls and your trading groups, if ever, para naman, since we're, we're going to be talking about stock market naman onwards. Okay? Um, PPG, uh, we have momentum for PPG. Hindi tayong binigyan ng magandang pullback, so it's really risky right now. I don't want to recommend it, though we can use a breakout strategy if you really want to go aggressive. Kasi nag-confirm siya naman siya ng breakout. So yeah, um, depending on you, I don't want to go aggressive in this kind of market since nagre-recover pa naman ang market. Mas maganda ang pullback and bounce for that. Uh, Coach Pasilip, si... Um, good morning, Coach. This is from Armonde Rodriguez. Uh, and to my BFI, and good morning to me and to your BFI, Brian Solier. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pakisili po si Intel and AMD. Uh, Intel is looking good. Uh, Intel. All right, Intel Corp. Right here. So, still momentum. Uh, we have a resistance right here. Better just trade. Um, on a breakout. So, breakout strategy for Intel. Hindi pa naman siya nagbe-breakout. So, antayin nyo muna ang breakout. AMD, one of the good companies that I like. Kaka-bounce na sa support si AMD. And umaakit na siya. 
So this is very good for AMD. Actually, may AMD ako hawak eh, right? It's uh, it's recovering right now. Uh, AMD positions are going up. This is the reason why sabi ko sa inyo, market is gonna be doing well and it's been doing well lately. Mukhang magpo-pull back si AMD. So yeah, uh, meron tayong resistance kasi dito. I don't wanna recommend getting in now. You wait for a pullback and bounce before you wanna get in. But this is a good stock to hold. Air Plata, good morning coach. <clears throat> Pasilip si po Alay and BAC. And thanks big time sa Reco mo sir. Na Intuit, gain na po. Oy, very good. So si Intuit, pumasok rin ako kay Intuit. And uh, we're gaining already. So congratulations. Sabi ko sa inyo, hawakan nyo lang. Right, so Intuit is already recovering with the market recovering and gain na tayo kay Intuit. So congratulations. Um, Alay, guys, hindi pa ba kayo nag toro Gumawa na kayo ng e-toro. Eh, pag nag kayo, send me a message. So that, baka masingit pa natin. Ako na bahala sa inyo. So please fund your accounts. Huwag niyo po sasayangin yung pamasko ko po sa inyo. Right, I'm, gis- I'm giving you this. E-toro is giving us this promotion yung $50, para po meron kayong pangdagdag, pambili ng assets, wag liabilities ang bibili ninyo. So, pangdagdag nyo po, assets po ang mga stocks, um, but it's very high risk assets. But still, um, if extra naman pera natin, lagay natin sa high risk, high reward. Ally, financial. So, wait for the pullback. Ang ganda na nito, it just broke out from the, ano, from the, uh, from the, resistance niya, downward, uh, downtrend niya. If it goes back and creates a support, definitely a buy. Ang ganda ng support nito. Kung bigyan tayo niyan. Um, next, best entry will be a pullback and bounce kasi masyado nang malakas ang akit niya. Um, congratulate sa Intuit, uh, Air, Plata. Renufo for us is my buntag coach and like a good morning. Amon de Rodriguez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And to all my friends here, Jeric, Joel, and Mariko, Rimalin Aguinaldo, good morning, Sir Megan AGI, please. Megan AGI, I've been recommending this the past few days already. Sige, tingnan natin ulit si Meg. Kamustahin natin si Meg. Um, tabi ko sa inyo, bro, dagihan niyo si Meg, di ba? So, Meg, pula siya yesterday. Um, I cannot find a buy signal right now. This was where we recommended Meg. I recommended Meg also here. Um... And umakit na si Meg. It broke MA20. Hopefully, mag-pull back. Antayin natin saan siya magla-landing. Right? The next, uh, if it gives us a good pull back and bounce, pwede natin pasukin. If it goes back to support, then why not? AGI recommended it two days ago and it's already going up. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay AGI. Is it still okay to get in? Let's compute our risk as much as possible. We don't want to risk that much. So, if you enter now, the support is 8. 10% away already. And if you cut loss, 13% po ang risk natin. If you're willing to risk 13%, then go ahead. But I don't want you to risk 13%. Please, napakalaking risk na po niyan. Dapat noon, when we recommended it, that was the best entry point. Hindi ngayon na, um, nakalipad na siya. So congratulations sa mga pumasok kay AGI when we recommended it. Um, I think it this has bottomed out. So next na lang po natin is wait for the pull back, next pullback and bounce before we want to enter AGI again. Tommy Escobedo, good morning po. Coach Lloyd, good morning then. STV Trader, good morning sir. ISM, ATN, thanks. ISM, I recommended it yesterday. And medyo pumula si ISM. Well, not, not yesterday, the other day. I'm not sure. Was it yesterday? But support is still holding naman for ISM. So, it's still okay by as long as the support holds for ISM. ATN. Thanks. ATN. Right. So, ATN still at a good support. This is a dip I want you to test by. Ang recommendation ko kay ATN kasi is for long term. So, yeah. I can recommend this as a buy for those who want to trade it. Okay. And for long-term people, this is a possible rever- uh, reversal signal already. May divergence naman dyan. So this is a very good position for ATN. Looking well. Oliver, Richard, Lucanas, good morning, sir. Good morning, Den. Kailan kayo ulit dito, balik dito sa Abu Dhabi, sir? Fen po, please. Um, we're planning to go back next year. So hopefully, mga February, kung, kung saan, um, maganda pa panahon. Hopefully, makabalik tayo sa February dyan. We were planning this January, pero hindi ko, hindi ko po na process eh. So, most probably February, right? Uy, konti ingat sa Dubai Expo kasi malaki expenses doon. <laughs> Again, buy assets and as much as possible, avoid liabilities. Good morning, sir. Okay, Fen. P-H-E-N. Okay, si Fen yesterday came back and then gap up and then went up high. Right now, we don't have a base for this to trade. 
Um, nandito yung support natin, wala tayong pullback and bounce. The best entry point will be a pullback and bounce before you want to enter FEN. But definitely, this is a good sign for FEN. Okay? Jetty, good morning. Um, Alvin Galvez, good morning. Coach, Gear Trader, good morning, sir. Ano effect ng Tugo na binenta nila sa may ferry uh, to Chelsea? That's the reason why Chelsea has been going up. This is very good for Chelsea. So, nagpo-pull back, antay natin ang bounce kay Chelsea. Si Tugo naman, um, may resistance si Tugo eh. Wala namang gaanong volatility kinawa yung ano niya. Uh, yung yung ano ni Tugo kasi malaki rin naman ang negative ni Tugo eh. That's why it's not really that attractive as of the moment. Pero hopefully um hopefully this also affects Tugo positively. May resistance lang tayo. We can't know for sure. Sir says good morning from Japan. Good morning sir says um Ohio Gasaima Richard Allen J Bolisa. Good morning sir Lloyd. Pa-check naman po si SSI and CPG. SSI and si SSI, let's see if ever mag-bounce na and creates a support. And then I will be recommending it pag nag-bounce yan for the short-term trading. Kasi divergence yan pag nag-bounce si SSI today. So watch out for the bounce and pwede nyo po i-trade yan. CPG. So CPG, um, so far so good. Um, buy as long as the support holds. Sabi ko sa inyo, I've been recommending CPG um, buy the dips and this is a strong dip. This is a strong support. Abangan nyo po sa support si CPG. Buy the support of CPG. Hazel Acuna, good morning. Um, somehow message got retracted, sir. Says, John Corneo, good morning. Pio Campanero, good morning, sir. Regards to your family. More power and God bless to you too. Um, Ernie Medina, uh, yan, ito yung mga sagat kanina. Liability, good morning, Paolo Hardiniano. Uh, ang house po ay liability. This is from Ernie Medina. If rental, assets. Assets, di na ako mag-rent ng bahay. Asset kasi di na ako mag-rent ng bahay. Uy, very good for answer from Ambrosio de Fontorum. Again, do the math. If if nag-rent kayo ng bahay dati, and if bumili kayo ng house, if minus the rent, are you pos on the positive side already? Are you able to save money? Kasi again, may ko yung kuryente, yung tubig, mas malaki yung kuryente. Pag buong bahay na, ang rinirentahan ninyo, I mean, yung hawak ninyo, and usually may caretakers na yan, mayroon ng mga linya sa telephone, etc. If it's if it's on the positive after renting, then it can be an asset already. Consider in also the factor of, uh, what do you call this, of your what do you call this? Yung binabayad din yun na loan if you're amort, 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 amortizing it. So, better check with an accountant or a financial, yung financial advisor talaga na, financial advisor to do the math for you if it's an asset already. Okay? Uh, Kaloy, depende po. Very good. The answer earlier was it depends. Alright. Um, code name Acero. Sir, CNPF and Vita. CNPF. CNPF. Right, so CNPF. Uh, I'm still waiting for a good pullback for CNPF, right? ME20s are our best entry points. Right now, it's not yet giving us an ME20 bounce. So, bangan natin yung pullback niya. Medyo nawawala ni momentum ni CNPF. Eh. So, it's bound to pull back anytime soon. If hindi tayo bigyan, then don't. Uh, wag na natin pilitin. Si Vita naman. Si Vita, ang ganda eh. Hindi ko nahuli ito. Nag-breakout ito noon. Right, ayan. Nag-breakout pala si Vita ngayon. Right, so yeah. This is a good signal for Vita. Uh, just did a breakout. So, use a breakout strategy if you want to enter Vita. Um, Alright, let's go down. Invest in human capital. Uh, Zapkill Arfel, yes. Kahit nang gumagastos kay sa tao, if that person is giving you money in return, for example, a manager, nagmamanage ng business nyo, if it's uh, if it's doing it well and giving the business is doing you profits, then that's good. Buying old newspaper, gear trader, and um, very good question. Pwede ba yung PayPal, uh, pay yourself first, Sir Lloyd? Ryan T, pwede ba yung pay? This is a very good question, right? It's a, it's a segue to our, ano, because I am receiving this comment really um, um, often, right? Pwede ba, Sir, na mag-enjoy mo na ako? It's an option for you. It's up to you. It's not bad at all, right? To reward yourself first. Yan yung sinasabi kasi ng tao eh. I worked hard naman sa 13th for the whole year. So, yung 13th month ko, I'm just reward, I'll just reward myself first. Diba? It's up to you. Okay? There's nothing wrong. Please, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself. But, what I'm talking about is becoming financially free as soon as you can. Okay? So, becoming financially free as soon as you can. Right? Let's say, 
I want to I want to share this to you. I haven't shared this to my ano, to my seminars yet, but I really want I really, really like this ideology. So this is your current life right now, and this is your goal, which is financial freedom. Okay, the 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 fastest way. This is financial freedom, meaning retired na tayo, hindi na tayo kailangan magtrabaho, and our assets are paying for our expenses already. That's how you attain financial freedom. Okay, so the fastest way to attain financial freedom is a straightforward direction. Okay? Straightforward direction, meaning lahat ng pera kinikita ninyo, you put it into assets so that you can reach financial freedom right away. But this is gonna be hard because along the way, this is our life. This is our goal. Along the way, uy, I want to reward myself. Liko yan. Okay, liko. I want to reward myself and I will go back to on track. Then along the way, uy, may magandang Nike na sapatos. I go sideways again. So, I'm going to go back on track. Yung ipon ko, buy assets again. And then, uy, along the way, uy, ang ganda magburakay, burakay, etc. And then, go up again. And then, uy, sarap mag Starbucks, etc. And then you attain financial freedom. Because this is our goal. You did attain your financial freedom, but if we straighten this la uh, this th thread out, it will take you a longer time than this one. Okay, mas mahaba po ito if we try to straighten that out. So it's up to you if you want to attain financial freedom fast. If you want to attain, yung goal ko say I want to share. I always share this to everyone. My um, my goal is to retire at the age of 35. I am 33 now. So I'm almost there. I am doing my best to go straight forward. Pinsan na ano din but somehow because of my of my of my laser focus on my goal. Um we're almost there. Okay? Yung mga tao, if you, it's up to you if you want to focus or not. If you want to focus then good. If not, then you can still attain financial freedom naman. It's just that it will take you a longer time. So it's your choice. It's up to you. Okay? Um, that is to answer Ryan T's, pwede ba yung pay yourself first? Okay? Pwede naman yan, but the consequence is it will take you longer time to attain financial freedom. So that's the exchange. Every action has a, an equal reaction. Okay, Vin Nap, Sir Lloyd, Pasilip Koy, PHA from Dubai. Um, let's go back to that. Um, PHA from Dubai. Okay, right, so PHA. Mahira pa rin si PHA for me. Uh, that's why I've been recommending PHA lately since, let's see, if ever ma-hit yung support and then we see a bounce, maganda naman yung divergence niya. So support, abangan natin sa support ni PHA. But right now, I don't think it's gonna go up. Um, medyo mataas na kasi si, ano, para sa akin. If matuloy ulit, if may balita ulit na good news about uh, about doong, ano, anong tawag doon? Yung may investor tayo from Qatar. Um, so most probably aakin, but aakit yan ulit. But right now, wala. when is the best time to copy you sa Itoro? Actually, it's the best time right now. Um, stocks are going up already. Uh, my statistics are, we are already positive for this month. I say we we were on the negative the past few months, but since the market is recovering already, we are recovering already. So I'm already up 1.18. It's still the best time to copy me. You can copy me anytime if you want to. But I strongly recommend because I'm going for long term. If you wanna join my long term journey, you can copy me. If gusto nyo po na mabilisan, I wanna recommend Omar. It's a very very good trader. Um, Right now, he is positive 1.20% for October, but look at that. He's already up 32% for the whole year. Last year, 30%, where, where the market was very hard, and he's doing trading Forex. So I want you to copy him also, and then look at that, 2017, 497%, and very low-risk trader. Okay? So, I want, to, I want to recommend this also, kung gusto nyo pong may mabilis na kitaan. Okay? Because there's that option. Okay, Robert Castletort, good morning. Year Trader, salamat po. Kaya, kaya, ko po, kaya ka po tinanong kasi plan ko mag-shift sa dividend stocks na lang kasi malaki na talo ko. Pwede naman po yan kasi there are um, dividend stocks naman if you plan for to go for dividends naman. Vince, here in ano, here in Itoro, may dividends din naman si Itoro. Eh, right? So, if you buy a stock in Itoro, you will still receive the dividends naman. Vince Cabrera, good morning. Coach, take profit na ba kay Finn? Right? I want you... To take profits, if ever magpula na yan. If ever we see a red signal, take half of it. 
Andrew Benasa. Sorry, pakisilip din po si SEC. Si SEC, ang ganda na ng price action lately. So, that's my, uh, may, ano, meron tayong resistance right now. Breakout will be very good, pero konti ingat. You have to be very sharp with breakout entries with this one. Paul Mark Celeste. Hi, sir. Fen and Tech. Sir, si Fen masyado mataas na. Si Tech naman, gustay natin si Tech. Alright, so tech is going back to support. So let's wait for tech to bounce at support. If that bounces, definitely that's a divergence bounce. I would say I'll test tech for that. Sir JFC po, JFC overall for long term um, is still a buy for me. Yun, nagpupull back na at last. Alright, for those, those traders, antay natin saan siya mag-bounce. Maybe at the MA20, then pasukin natin. Um, sir, Good morning. Pasilip naman si JER30. Alright, so we are now talking about indices. Very good. So, si JER30, GER30. Yeah, so, this is, this is indexes. Right? Para po itong PSEI, pero ito naman si sa, sa Germany. Right? So, this is the index of Germany. Let's check out their chart for Germany. Uy, nasa resistance tayo. Right? Um, this is bullish. Nag-breakout siya and we have another resistance. This is bullish right now. I think... Um, this will do a pullback and then bounce soon. So, GR, GR30 is bullish right now. So, this is very good if you're trading. Uh, pwede pa si index. Um, and you trade ninyo. Kung, so, you think GR30 uh, is, um, what they call this is, uh, what they call this is bullish. You click on trade and then you can trade this. Right? Pwede pong index ang itrade ninyo sa itoro. Beckett Angan, hi Sir Lloyd. Wala pa din reply si Iris Chan sa issue ko. Mm, ano nga ba ulit yun? Becca, can you send me a message sa, uh, sa, ano, sa, sa Financial Freedom 101? Ako mismo mag-forward sa kanila. Alright, so. Yan. Daily Inspiration. Ron Balas. Good morning, Ron. Handmade. What's the best to buy today? Please, I want to invest. Thanks. Is it in PSE or inter international market? For PSE, I was trying to open an account with eToro but it's not available here in Canada. Oy, o nga pala. Because eToro doesn't have a license in US yet, that's why they are not able to operate there. Since strict to po ang law ni US about brokerages, um, do you have someone, maybe a relative who has an account here in the Philippines? I mean, who is here in the Philippines? Maybe they can create the account for you, and then you just handle it uh, through. Uh, you you just handle it. Okay, Rodel Yamas. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, and Richard Aran says, Sir Lloyd, maari po ba mag trade sa Ang dating Filipino citizen now Canadian and based in Canada sa PSEI. Yes, pwede naman po yan. Um, du dual citizenship po ba? If you're dual citizen, and yes, you can. And you can approach brokers naman. Kaya nga may mga foreign buying, di ba? Because foreign buyers can still buy in our market and you have to enlist with a broker lang. Rafi Ayub, sir, insights po kay FNI. Uh, sure, FNI. Si FNI, taas na nito ngayon eh. Let's see ano nangyari kay FNI yesterday. Uh, yeah, um, nasa resistance tayo. So, nagpo-pull back tayo kay FNI. We don't have a definite signal for FNI as of the moment. Uh, we have resistances right here. So, I cannot recommend it since it's very near resistance. Good morning, sir. Kamusta po si PHA? Irvin from Dubai. Dubai. Mukhang nahihirapan si um, PHA po eh. Lira, newbie. Good morning, sir. Insights naman po kay MPI, DMC, and Tech. We talked about Tech earlier. Um, it's 9.29 na pala. Huh, 9.30 na pala. Hindi ko napansin. <laughs> Mag-open na pala ang market. So, sorry if hindi ko po ma-share ang list ko sa inyo ngayon. But these are very good positions right now. Check this out on market opening. It's already 9.30. Mag-open ang market. So, check it out. Um, yan po yung list ko. Web, LR, DNL, FB, and FPH. Uh, LR is in my list. So, yan po. Coach, see you dito sa South Korea. Newbie po ako. Gusto ko talaga matuto ng stock market. Saka, paano handle ng kaperahan po. Salamat sa programa mo. Coach Lloyd, mabuhay. Thank you so much. Um, nabasa ko lang yun, sir. The richest man in Babylon. From Ryan T. Ano ba yung sinabi ni Ryan T sa taas? Hindi ko na mabasa. Um... Pasensya na guys, we don't have enough time anymore. It's already 9.30. So, um, we'll talk. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, talk again tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. And if you want to create an eToro account, please create an account using my link. Please don't miss out on this. Meron po tayong seminar um, this November 10 and 11. Right? This is going to be with Miss RB Necesito. Right? She is a day trader. She plays Tenth, so I wanna I wanna fix this. Siya po ang tenth on the September uh, Itoro challenge. This is her 
Uy, 11th na naman. Bakit kumagalaw? 105, 11th pala siya, right? So, yeah. Um, and right now, she is doing RB Necesito. Is doing well for October. Right? October, she is already up stats. She's already up 30%. Amazing. 30% for October. If you want to know how she is doing it, join our seminar. It's for free. Just go to my Facebook page. And then po yung link to register. This one and this one. So join us in our seminar with Miss Arby Necessito. That's going to be on November 10 and 11. And um, it's going to be recorded. So even if you miss an episode, you can still watch it. It's going to be available for those who, are, who have registered. So register now. See you tomorrow, and as always, let's get rich together. Bye, everyone.